come to take up tomorrow. Welcome back. So tech fans, what's going on? I'm glad to see you here. I'm having a pretty rocking day, having a lot of fun. So check this out. Apple, ooh, they may have something actually to worry about because Google is now going to release their Android Wear. That's right. So wearable tech is taking another step up the chain and Google is now entering the game. Now, this isn't like, you know, mom and pop's donuts is trying to enter into the game. This is Google, a giant, giant company, lots of backing, lots of cash, lots of followers. So when these guys say, hey, we're going to put out a product, I think it's going to do pretty good. Even though I know a lot of people out there thought Google Glass was a lot of bullshit, you have to fucking admit it was interesting shit. I mean, it just was. I think those Google people are fucking fracking crazy in the ground filming everything, but you have to admit, it's a cool product. It's a niche product. And for those people who want to be on the edge and have cool, nifty stuff, you can't really beat Google Glass. When Jonathan had his pair, I know I sure wanted to check them out. And I'm sure you guys, if you get your hands on one, you want to check it out too. Now, you might not be the type that wants to go around wearing it around daily filming crap, but still, it'd be pretty cool. Birthdays, family stuff, there's a lot of stuff it'll be used for. So now they're going to have this Android Wear coming out. Who knows the possibilities? You guys all know that these people are competing for the wearable market, and it's going to be very interesting to see where Google goes with this. Like usual, if you guys want to see the full story and know what's going on with this and see more, check out the link down there in the link below the like button in the description. We'll have the full story on this by our man Zane. So if you guys are into that stuff, check that out. Other stuff coming up, but check it out. I want to stop right here. You know what? I think I'll give you guys something. You guys like that? I think you do. So check it out. HD 650. This is an external hard drive. Let me put on the old uh, standby button here. Check this thing out. I'm going to unbox this thing, and then you guys can just leave a comment down below and leave a comment for a second chance over on our webpage on the article for a chance to win this. It's international. I don't care. So check this thing out. External hard drive. 500 gigabytes, and this thing's really, really supposed to be durable. I mean, so here's the box. A lot to it. You guys can see the name. You guys can see what it is. You can see it's 2.5 external HDD, the HD650, USB 3.0 ready, all that good stuff. Got a three-year warranty, all that stuff. Let's pop the old cap here on top, though. Stay in camera range, Elric. Stay in camera range. Let's pop the old cap there. Pretty simplistic there. Take that thing and pull it on out of there. All right, so we got that. Cameraman action. Oh, missed him by that much. All right, so check it out. More stuff here. Here's some instruction stuff, quick start guide and all that stuff. I mean, you guys know what to do. You plug it in a USB thing. You go in, if Windows doesn't recognize it, you go into the advanced properties and you configure the thing. There you go, and you've got your drive for most laptops and everything. It will do it automatically. So this thing's just really some nice paper. Or if you're going on a camping trip, need some fire starter, I see the manual from A-Data being a perfect thing for that. I mean, no offense to A-Data, but it, this paper will burn as well as any other thing, right? You guys know well, so let's move on. More cardboard. Cameraman's giving me a dirty look. <laughs> Should we throw more? All right, all right, check, check it out. We got the cable. Nice cable, right? I won't throw it because we're gonna give it to one of you guys. You don't want me throwing the cable. But to be quite honest with you, I should throw the drive. I mean, I think A-Data would want me to throw the drive <laughs> because this drive, is very, very well made. Check this out. Comes in external total rubber housing. It's made to be tough. If it comes to you and it's broke, you let us know. But I just dropped it. So there's no camera going down with the camera because you guys are not seeing my, my short pants today. That's it. You guys don't get to see my cool short pants. But look, no damage whatsoever. I'm gonna do it again. It actually bounces. So this thing's pretty damn durable. So one of you people out there is going to really like this. So if you're looking for 500 gigabytes of storage, you guys are looking to have this thing, take it around with you and not have it break, which I think is very important. Having your drive and being able to smack it around is important because think about it, your lifestyle that you live isn't like some padded dream world where everything's just handed to you. You know, drinks are handed you in a silver platter and everything's cushioned with pads. There's concrete everywhere, tough shit. You want a drive that'll last. So if any folks out there are actually looking to buy this and you want to check out more information, we'll have all the details also down below in the description for this product as well. So let's keep going. 
All right, folks, so next up, if you guys follow the channel, you might have seen us at CES where we got to check out this totally wireless Sensei mouse from the people over at SteelSeries. Well, now pre-orders are now coming out to get this awesome product. Me personally, I like SteelSeries stuff. They make a tough ass product that's made of quality stuff and seems to me to last quite a bit. We've tried out a whole bunch of their headphones, a whole lot of their products, and I really like them quite a bit. So people who are a fan of the Sensei mouse, you're gonna really be digging this because now the thing is totally wireless. It's got this totally cool base that glows in the dark, looks like something spacey. You just set your mouse on it, it's all wireless charging. It's really, really cool. Like usual, you guys wanna check out pictures of this, find out more information on how you can buy this thing. All the information will be down below. But I think that people who are into the Sensei mouse, you guys are gonna be quite impressed with this and the fact that it's wireless, no more cables getting in your way is going to be a pretty damn cool thing. I think you're gonna think so too. So next up in the news, you guys all know that Thief has come out. A 10 year wait, Kevin actually covered the game. There were mixed feelings about it. Me personally, I thought that there would be a lot more about it. Now AMD though is about to release their mantle drivers for this game and things are looking pretty good. Now you guys can see these guys used four different systems in these builds. They call them all mid-level, but actually some have some pretty high-end graphics cards in them. And the only reason they're really saying that because AMD doesn't have a CPU that costs $900 anymore unlike Intel, so they're gearing it for that. So these four different systems, they range in different values and different things. And like usual, you will see that the lower end system benefits the most from Mantle. Now, some people are gonna say, oh, that's crap, that's bullshit, but you know what? I kinda like AMD's strategy on this because if you've already paid for super high-end shit, I mean, really, if you pay for a jet plane, what do you want to be, more of a jet plane? I mean, if you're paying for a jet plane, you should already have jet plane performance inside of your system, correct? I mean, I think you guys can agree with me on that. You're paying for high-end shit, your system should kick ass, you shouldn't even need Mantle. You should just be able to go, Mantle my ass. But since these guys are touting it and it does do stuff for lower end people, that's pretty cool. So that way people have laptops or lower end systems, they're gonna benefit the most. Cause think about it, they don't have the big bucks to be buying the jetliner like you know some of us do. So they're in that category. And I think that's a really good smart move on AMD's part. You guys let me know what you think, but all the information's out. If you guys wanna see all of this information, you guys wanna see all the scores and all that and see the performance variances between system one and system four, we have the full story over on our website, Tech and I think you guys will be pretty interested to see this. Thief, it's a mixed bag. Also, if you guys for some reason happen to miss Kevin's video of that and his review, you should check it out. Kevin did a really badass bang up job on this video and I think you guys will like his results. So that's pretty much it, folks. Some news stories, a little rock and roll guitar. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did finally upgrade my amp. I was actually able to save up my cash and get an angle. This amp is Rah! I don't even know what to say, man. I love this amp. So far, I mean, I've really tried them all. This amp really kicks, kicks serious ass. I would have bought one that was, you know, had more channels and stuff, but I pretty much stick to metal. You guys know I'm a metal head, I admit it. <laughs> Whatever, it's my fault, <laughs> forgive me. But I like metal. And also, people have been asking, yes, I've been going to the gym now every day. I plan on losing 40 pounds, getting in serious shape, losing this diabetes that I've had, and just getting off my lazy fat ass and doing some stuff. Because basically, after I lost my foot, I got into a pretty lazy lifestyle. You know, you get your foot cut off, it's pretty easy to go, yeah, my foot's cut off, I don't wanna do shit, you know what I mean? But I've kinda rode that little horse a little too long, so fuck it, I'm moving on. I'm exercising the gym every day, running the treadmill, I've lost weight, I've gained some muscle tone, and I'm feeling great. So, I love you guys, you guys are my inspiration, because basically I'm doing it so I can be here for you guys. The better I feel, the more energy I can bring to the videos, the better it is for me, and the better it is for you. So, peace out, like I said, all the information is down below that like button. If you like this video, you like this style, make sure you come through that thing, try not to break your keyboard when you do so. And if you're not subbed and you'd like to be, check out the link back here. It'll be down there in the description. So peace out, folks. We'll see you guys back on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech tomorrow.